In a certain street, two traders lived side by side. A shoemaker and a hatter. they had been out of business but now the two shops were almost ready to trade once more. The hatter decided that as felt was scarce and dear he would make only one hat per week and charge a fabulous price for it. The shoemaker thought otherwise. The country had plenty of good leather and a tradition of good craftsmanship. Business was brisk. Even so, the shoemaker had only enough money for food. Meanwhile, the hatter was scheming. If there was any outside competition, he knew he couldn't sell his one expensive hat. So he wrote a petition. And got the other hatters to agree. It was a very simple request a large tax on imported hats and the money obtained to swell the city exchequer. Could he resist boasting of his triumph? The shoemaker wondered whether he wasn't a fool to work so long for so little. Why not be like the hatter? But when shoes are needed so badly, surely he should make more, not less. Why not make more shoes with less effort by using more machines? That would mean better shoes and cheaper shoes. Of course, that's the answer. And now's the time to act. First, he had to go to His Excellency for permission to import new machinery. The import license was granted. After a little difficulty, he succeeded in reaching the next country where he knew they made very good machines. And as there was a high duty on imported leather, they made no shoes. So he arranged to export lots of shoes in exchange for new machinery. But a 
rude shock was in store. Before he could bring in his precious machinery, he had to pay an enormous tax, as much again as the cost. Shall he abandon the idea? Never. But to continue it meant handing over his most treasured possession, the title deeds to his home in payment. time his family could afford some shoes and now he was a hero to the neighbors who could buy more because his goods were cheaper of course this didn't please the hatter a bit <laughs> regret shoes cannot be sold tariff too high Well, the machinery must go back, but the title deeds. Can nothing be done? Nothing? Somebody somewhere must need shoes and be able to pay for them. And the shoemaker intended to find that somebody. First, he had to explain about the machinery. Unless he could sell his shoes, he must send back the machines. But this meant ruin for the machine maker, for he too must export. Too many restrictions were ruining trade between them. Well, maybe the next country will need shoes. liked the shoemaker's shoes, but first they needed machines, and they couldn't buy them because they couldn't sell their timber abroad. Tax was too high. Perhaps the next country will be different. This country hadn't enough timber, and they couldn't export cheese to pay for it because of tariffs. So nothing doing here either. Perhaps the next country. last, a sail. But no, in this country people needed cheese, not shoes. But they were not short of hats.
day were cheap. Pity they couldn't export them because of our hatter. Back home, it had been raining for weeks and weeks. The hatter was uneasy, with good reason. People were demanding a lower import duty on hats. But this must be stopped. And the hatter gathered his supporters too. another petition. Will His Excellency kindly lower all trade barriers, abolish restrictions and demolish cartels and taxes on all imports? Oh no, this is too much. was agreed. The people were happy to think that now they could have the things they lacked, which they knew they could obtain elsewhere. After that, Shoemaker employed more people and made more shoes than ever. shoes went wherever they were needed and so did all the other goods made or grown throughout the whole territory. No more customs barriers. an expansion of transport to carry it. And efficient producers everywhere enlarged and increased production 
which meant more work and more goods all round. They were also able to compete successfully for much needed world trade. And the Hatter? Well, he has found himself a new job. In the growing transport industry.